Hi everybody, this is Diane and I'm coming to you today with a little bit of a flea market haul plus a short little scrapistry episode, not scrapistry, stashistry episode using some wallpaper pieces that I have in my stash. So let's just get to the flea market haul. It won't take too long, I don't think. Um, let's do the books first. I got this gorgeous, gorgeous recipe book. The Household Searchlight Recipe Book from the Household Magazine, which I've never heard of, but look at that. I've never seen anything like this. Can't even tell what these... Well, they're just little flowers and checkerboard. So pretty. I'm going to make fabulous. It's it's in kind of rough shape, but I'm going to make a great recipe journal out of it. Um, 1938. Look at the tabbed pages. They're very worn. Appetizers, beverages, breads. I didn't even look to see if it has illustrations. I just liked the cover and the tabbed pages, so I don't see any illustrations. Look at the, that's pretty cool too though. It has the name of the recipe out to the side so you can see it quicker. That's neat. Um, I didn't know this, this was in here, some old magazine pages, 1955. from Woman's Day. So that's cool. I'll have to take a look at them. And another, this looks like it came out of a newspaper. So, beautiful. Got this. I love A Child's Garden of Verses. It just is one of my favorites. It was my favorite book when I was a child, the Eloise Wilkin Golden Book version of it, but I just love the poems by Robert Louis Stevenson. <clears throat> and so I'm a sucker for a nicely illustrated Child's Garden of Verses. This is illustrated by Alice and Martin Provinson. Nineteen sixty one. That's the tenth print printing. Let me see when the first was, because that's what the illustrations would be dated. Um, Nineteen fifty one. I was just wondering about the style of the illustrations. Look at the houses on this hillside. Really cool. Then I grabbed this book. This is not for junk journaling. I'm going to share it with my grandkids. Um, they like silly jokes, and this is the world's worst riddles and jokes. It was previously owned by Tom. Nineteen seventy-six. What does a lion become after it is one year old? Two years old. <laughs> How do you look at a hippo's teeth? Very carefully. I thought that would be a fun summer project or activity to do when I have the grandkids here. And then the other book that I got is actually four of these binders. Success with house plants. I don't think the binders are 
worth anything. I'm not going to keep the binders, but they're full of these pages that open out. So these are great to use as a folio in a journal. You could sew it down the center or to put into a binder journal. Look how many pages are in here. And they're just beautiful illustrations or um, photographs. Plus you can learn about houseplants. So that's one. I got four of these, like I said, and they all look pretty full, except this stuff fell out of one of them. So they're, <clears throat> oh, look at the strawberries. The packets that weren't even opened yet and inserted into the books. Iris. I wouldn't have considered an iris a house plant for balconies and terraces. So that's what all these are. For balconies and terraces. And then these were probably in it, but must be the, they came out, must be it opened because I just picked the book up and they all fell out. So there's a lot there. I'm going to be putting bundles of large quantities of those pages in my shop. So I hope you're interested in them. And then the miscellaneous stuff that I got was just a pack of 200 wooden craft sticks. It was only $1.50. And I, I use them for stirring up paints and stuff in mixed media. And I got this little pack of blue and white price stickers. I thought they would be fun to add to collages and just stick on pages. I think they're fun. Let me know if you'd like some, because it looks like there's plenty here. If you'd like me to put some in the shop. Um, I got a needle book. Woolworth needle book for a um, dollar. And a needle just fell out. And a needle just pricked me. I got this. I thought this was fun. 1920s and 30s Windsor School Pictures. like a group picture but it's a montage of pictures I guess but then look at these with the cute little frames 1931-32 school year this one says 1931 aren't they great Nineteen twenty nine. It was a long time ago. And that must be the teacher for some of them. So I thought these were really fun. Oh, look at this one has the names all written on the back. Hmm. Not that I would know any of them. It's not in great shape. Looks like it was in something because the four corners are bent at an angle so maybe it was inserted into something and then got bent pulling out I don't know but it it's folded and cracked and bent but it's great um, I got a bunch of stuff for two dollars so I think this next batch of stuff I'm going to show you was all in the two dollar batch so this is just a Rolodex it's just a plastic thing it's not worth anything but the cards can be fun to um, collage on or use as journal cards and they have an interesting shape they're a little curved at the top I could collage over the writing on the ones that are written on or just get rid of them maybe they're all written on maybe I'll have to collage on them if I can have some and then there was this. These were in a nasty old uh, plastic recipe box, index card box, so I just got rid of that because it was not very nice. It was dirty. 
but these are vintage cards. And I have plenty of, I have plenty, but these were vintage, so I grabbed them. And these are never, never used. And they're pale green color. And they're very sturdy. Then this, I'm not sure. I don't know if this was in the $2 batch or with a, another batch of stuff, but these are more modern. I didn't really need them, so I don't know why I picked them up. But there's lots of index cards and lots of divider cards in there. Mm, there's this little sticker, Victorian flower basket with roses and pansies. And this 100-year perpetual calendar, 1988 to 2037, 1938 to 1987. So I don't know what year this was put out. But I just thought it would be really fun to include in a junk journal, one of my larger journals, 1987, it says. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Something different. This is all still part of the $2. Efficiency line rent receipts, 35 sheets with stubs. They look vintage and unused. And they're in excellent condition. So I got two of those, both of them unused and really good shape. I love the covers. And there was this SNH green stamp book with stamps in it. I grabbed this. I thought I might give it to my dad. The Flood of 72. Um, this was in my area. Um, this, this book is about the flood in Elmira and Shimon County. But that's New York. And the flood was also in Athens and Sayre, where I live. I live in Athens right now. When this happened, I lived in East Smithfield, out in the country, up on a hill. We were perfectly safe. There was no flooding there, but our valley, where I live, is between two rivers, the Susquehanna River and the Shemung River, and they flooded, and it's still talked about, the flood of 72. I was still in school. But anyway, I thought my dad would find this interesting because he likes stuff like this. And I'll look through it before I give it to him. The church that we attended, I, I went to the same church that I go to now in Athens, so that was flooded. And then these were there. Some more current Justin notes. They're, they're kind of bent up because they were just kind of thrown in a box. This one has some birds on it. <clears throat> and this one has some daisies and clover. And then we have some butterflies. I always like these. I love putting these in journals. These were, these two were in the folder and this was just laying loose in the box. Oh, and then there was this little notepad. Just has some birds on it. There was a whole bunch of notepads, but nothing I wanted, but I thought that would be cute. And this, Strathmore Blank Greeting Cards. So they're artist papers. 12 cards and 10 envelopes. 10 cards, why did I say 12? 10 cards and 10 envelopes. Oh, somebody stamped on some. I used to have this stamp. I still have that stamp. She stamped on the flap and then on a basket of pansies there with purple. But they do have purple edge on the deco edge and they're really nice quality. Very nice. And the envelopes are nice. They're not that textured, but they're really nice quality with the deco edge. So that's a good quality product.
almost done. I picked up these just a few um, Family Circle recipe cards from a magazine. They were part of a batch of stuff. That looks good. Look at all these chocolate. They're all chocolate recipes. Should have had these when I did my chocolate journals. Getting itchy. And then this Word of Life Scripture Memory Pack. And this is pretty old. And dirty. Can't even read the back of it anymore. It's just a little vinyl pack with scripture cards in it. I thought these would be great in a faith journal. I'm going to take them right out of the pack because I don't want to keep that nasty thing. So the different colors. Cool. I like them. And that cost me I think I was done with the two dollar yeah, I was done with the two dollar stuff. This cost me fifty cents, I think. And then lastly, I got this full of calling cards, Victorian calling cards. And they are in good shape. They were kept in this little vinyl pocket protector thing. I don't know how long they've been in there. Not since Victorian days, obviously, but aren't they pretty? It has a name on it. Regina Swamp. Can you see that writing? Terry, er, Harry Bauer this one's the same design, and it's for James Keebler. Interesting. And I already have a bunch of Victorian calling cards. And so I'm going to add these and kind of divide them up and make some digitals with them. That one's pretty. A lot of them have hands and doves and flowers. And that one's just unique. Okay, so that's it for my flea market haul today. Now, I'm not going to be making a project because I'm just sitting here at my dining room or kitchen table, whatever you want to call it. They're kind of, it's just a little table set here next to my kitchen. Um, but I wanted to talk about what I made last night. And it's very simple. You don't need me to demonstrate it. So it's, I'm using up some wallpaper. I have tons of vintage wallpaper and some of it not so vintage. I'm sorry, but my throat and ears are itching now from going through all that stuff. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of white cardstock, but you can use whatever you have. You can use scraps, you can use file folders, you can use the eight and a half by 11. I took the 12 by 12 because I cut it um, in half, so they six inches, and then I cut it three inches across. So I got eight right yeah four with this piece and four with that piece so i got eight pieces that were three by six and then ta-da here they are three by six then i took some of my wallpaper pieces this is from a roll i think we found a couple rolls of this in my daughter's in the closet in my daughter's house <coughs> in a room that she had just been using for storage. I think she knew it was there, but when I helped her clean it out, um, we found the box in the closet and I asked her if I could have it. She was just going to get rid of it. So I'm going to be cutting up, I'm going to be putting pieces of this in my shop too, but 
wallpaper takes prep time and I just haven't done it yet. So anyway, I cut some of this. And this one's really old. I love this one. I have I didn't do any of that one yet, but I got it out. So those are just a couple pieces of my vintage wallpaper that I have. And so I cut the wallpaper into the same size. So there's some of those orangey ones, and then I have quite a bit. I think this one came from her house also. She had several different kinds. So I am working on getting them cut into pieces that I can put in my shop. And then I just took a piece of red line tape. You could take a little glue and just stick it down in the center of the card and just stick this down so it's stuck in the center so it doesn't move around. And then cut the corners like you would for a tag. And then I sewed around it and got these. And then as I was cleaning things up, this was my little basket of tabs was sitting out for some reason. I had used it for something and I knocked it over and spilled it on the floor. So while I was picking up all of my hundreds of tabs that are in there, it's just a little container, but it holds a lot of tabs. I thought I've got so many of these that I punched with my whale tail tab punch from Stampin' Up. I thought I'll just use those instead of reinforcements. So I just found colors that matched each tag and glued them on. Now that they're dry, I just did that before I went to bed, glued them on. So now that they're dry, I can punch a hole in them and put a ribbon or whatever I want to through there. So let me just show you what my tabs, my tags look like. And you can decorate, you can do whatever you want to them. This one has a checkerboard gingham tab on it. And I thought these would be great in a fall journal. This is wallpaper that I had in my shop once upon a time. And then I took this one, which is similar, it's type of paper, the age of the paper is similar to that blue and white one that I said that I love, but I didn't make a tag out of it yet. You can see it's um, bent. It's very old and fragile and so pretty. So this is a good project for it because I could adhere it down and now it's not so fragile anymore. I added a hound's tooth check tab to it and then this little printable and a piece of seam binding and it's really cute. I could add more, I could put some lace or something on it, but I do like to keep things fairly simple most of the time. So there you have it from this to this. And I've got more to work on. So I hope you um, <clears throat> found that inspiring. If you have, <clears throat> sorry, pieces of wallpaper <clears throat> to use, this is a good thing to do with them. Something very quick, very simple, and yet really charming to add to your journals. It has a nice texture. Whatever kind of wallpaper you have, it's going to feel different than just paper. So I think they're really cool. So that does it for me. My flea market haul and my little <clears throat> stash history episode and I thank you so much for watching we got this done in under 25 minutes how about that I'll see you again soon bye bye